Community Group when I teach fourth grade at Jackson. And um, I was started trailblazing last year. Um, when my trailblazer statement, I wanted to go into more station rotation, and it looked really good with the master schedule that I was handed in. So then my statement didn't really match my needs. Um, so I started adjusting it, um, took some kids out of Dreambox and put them in Redbird. Uh, had one kid from day two of Redbird, like, what? Did you give me some red bottles and back in Dreambox? Um, and I, that's how I work. I, you never kind of know trying to walk into my classroom and stop found out. Um, I will change things just as needed and on the spot. Um, the dream box has played in uh, very strongly. We just needed record for a while, went back to dream box as their math skills went up. But as I was looking at this and trying to figure out what were my key findings, when you do your statement, it's so, what am I going to do? And what am I going to use to guide my instruction? And I am big in the initial data, and David is this incredible report for me. So I knew what I was looking at from as a student center in, um, and I could break down and see how many schools the kids have been to, how many um, the I assessment, all the different things that I needed, and correlated correctly with what I thought the kids the highest needs have been in seven or more, seven or more schools. I think I have two of them like that, um, and then how I got to know the kids about a little bit. What I've done this year is sat down one-on-one -on -one and built this relationship with kids and really talk with them. Um, Tests, they know it's just for me. I'm going to choose my instruction based on what I do, it's not about me. And building that with them um, has created like this teamwork and I have kids now raising their hand and speaking up and asking to say for a second math group or asking to say with me the whole time because math is hard. Having um, more than one reading group, suggesting projects. And uh, we do a lot of projects in our classroom. Um, the kids have really taking home the breakout boxes. Um, and they don't always go well, and that's what we deal with. Like, we have not broken out the last two boxes, and that's okay. What are we gonna change about our strategy? Um, filming them um, during the breakout boxes, and then having private conversations with a couple that, um, I showed them a 20 second clip, what did you do here? Oh, kind of went into this good space. The kids have figured out how to solve it. Well, what did your friend do? Oh, you really took a lot of space. And what happens when the kids sit down? I had frozen peas and ice balls. Um, when he put it down, I took it. And went to the kid and figured out the who do he left. And I, so really having these conversations and, and that trust has really made the kids' learning take off this year. They know where they are, they know where they need to go, but they really know I'm gonna help. I'm gonna do whatever I can to get you there. Um, we post it, we have our mindset in the hallway. Because these are not really pretty because they scribble it out and they post how many uh, more units they go up. Before they scribble it out, how many uh, lessons they completed in Dreambox, the percent of achievement since December. Uh, they know that they're the most important person. So I think out of this year, that's what I came to is that it's not me so much. It is more about them and how do I build it up. And so for next year, just continuing that. It's, I'm sure I'll be blessed with another similar class and um, <laughs> how to tackle that so that again, you set it up that we are a team.